And an interesting thing popped up on the not very active Agricola subreddit. Uh, Boodoo111, thanks for the follow. Welcome. We're, we're waiting for a game right now. Um, someone, and not me, I, I, I can only say that and hope people believe me. I know I can't convince anyone who thinks this was me. Um, but someone did analysis on 8,500 games of the newest card powers and stuff. They did something that I don't do. They change uh, undrafted as draft position 8. They didn't separate the games by draft status. They didn't separate the games by banned cards or not. But this is an interesting first look at uh, card stats, if you believe this person's methodology. 8,500 games sounds like too much to have done manually, so they're probably doing this against BGA policy. Um, and I don't really know how they were able to do it, but they they did something that made it work. But yeah, we have standard games and then additional spaces games. So while we're waiting for a table here, uh, I think we can all look through these. Yeah, additional spaces games down there. So a bunch of banned cards with the highest powers. Not too surprising. Craft teacher right next. Informant, teacher's desk. Carpenter's bench. I'm right. Um, the bench should be banned. Recruitment, chapel, lover, which I think I support banning. Uh, brewery pond. Grocer is uh, a little surprising, honestly. But actually thinking about the current set more and more, I do think Grocer is quite good. Like, I was a little down on it from base, and my opinion of it has been slowly reaching back up. Like, I've never thought it was bad, but I've never, like, treated it as top tier. And maybe I should treat it as top tier again. And Brewery Pond is leaning toward Banville. Because this is, like, the only format where it's not for sure bannable, in my opinion. And it's, like, 15th with most of the cards ahead of it should be banned. Shaving Horse, Trade Teacher after it on small samples. Royal Wood is down here. Down. Skillful Renovator. Forever... Forever underappreciated Skillful Renovator with a 3.7 average draft pick. Hey Kung Ming. Yes, Ace Spade, your Skillful Renovator bias. I mean... <laughs> every set of stats. It's just a fact of life. The community will underestimate, underrate Skillful Renovator. That's just how life works. In Agricola world. Uh, I'm gonna cancel this because I don't trust that it's uh, searching. I, I don't trust that it's not brown by now. You got 62 on Craft Teacher. <laughs> First VGA game in a year or two. Wow, yeah. I mean... Hey, Blant, these are card statistics by someone that's not me. And I'm not super happy with it because out of 8,500 games, they're not separating by draft type, but they're also putting undrafted at position 8. Um, so I'll just say it's not perfect. It, it's not how I would do it. it 
but I don't expect that statement to change any minds if someone is conspiratorially convinced that I did this. Um, anyway, the stool. Look at that milking stool go. Task card is in... Yeah, the Carpenter's Hammer. Full Farmer very high. Stallright quite high. Forest Reviewer solid. Pioneer. Yeah, okay. Pioneer is as good as I have been trying to think it is, like, adjust to. 4.1 average draft pick on Pioneer, but higher than Tiller. That's funny. Um, sports hardware store, wood slide. So we're still in the land of extremely good here. Collector, Young Farmer Lord, Hand Truck, Caravan on Small Sample, Sample Stable, Mud Patch is this high, huh? Baseboards, yeah. Pioneer for Reed, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of this... Oh, wow. Pulverizer down here. Slurry with a 5.2 average draft pick ahead of guest room. Slurry ahead of guest room. Uh-huh. Well, I think that's good news for guest room's chances at staying unbanned. I'm a little surprised Pulverizer is down here. I feel like Pulverizer Plow should be higher. I mean, a Tree Guard here. I mean, if Big Country's down here, we should ban 100 cards. <laughs> 25 to 109. What is that? 85 cards? Let's ban 85 cards total. Stone Axe, Charky. Better recently. Ed bonus a little down. Yeah, and this is not like high elos only. I'm not even sure they. Yeah, they didn't even take out the games with like 100 elo players like I do on my script. So. Oh, there's gonna be some noise here. There's gonna be some noise in these stats. Yo! I don't know where the alert sound went, but, uh, Hilbray, thanks so much for the tier one and the 24. That is two years, technically 12 of them in a row. Uh, thanks so much, Hilbray. That is a long time to be supporting and I really appreciate it. All right. Why are these games different? They're not. This one has no rating restriction? What the heck, BGA? Rating restriction immediately. Okay, I'm never using this frickin' lobby again. For basic games. Oh my god. It just creates more games when... It's been waiting for a while. That's so lame. Disrespectful by BGA. Big country worse than the big house meta? That's true. That part's true. All right, well, I gave their BGA's new lobby a chance and it failed. Terrible. We'll go back to the old style. The less convenient, but more correct style. Of being able to see what color our queue is at, and uh, being able to have full control over the restrictions here. How did I get back to the old style? Oh, I mean, you go to the normal play now for that lobby. Did I get a notification? Some random sending me a friend request. 
Yeah, in case uh, anyone didn't know, I declined most friend requests. So, nothing personal, but uh, my friends list is already too big. Like, if I want to spy on people I know and what they're doing, I already can't see four of my friends who are online. Like, and these are mostly real-life friends. I think BGA friends list is for, like, stalking people's activity that you're interested in. Um... So, yeah, and I'm very not interested in being followed by people, to be quite honest. Um, I generally don't like people spectating my games, even silently. And I just get actually pissed off if spectators talk in the middle of a game. I'm flexing. <laughs> I'm trying to set expectations. If that comes off as flexing, I'm sorry. If I wanted to flex, there are like 15 different ways I could. Now that's a flex. Um, back to these ratings. Parlor at 94th, but at a 1.2 average pick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with all the potential noise in this data set, I think I do want to account for, like, knowledge bias, so, like, the newest set of cards are probably skewed towards uh, being worse than they actually are by a player base that doesn't, in general, know how to play them best, and uh, picked later because people are less familiar with them. Should stop spectating. Being on stream is where I'm asking people to spec. And if people are specking so that they can, like, read the cards mid-game when I don't show them, that's totally cool. I'm talking about the non-streamed games. I guess I should have been specific. I should have... I, I mean, like, when I'm playing a game at, like, 7pm. Like, five hours after stream. And I just want to, like, be in my own little world playing an Agricola game. Not a big fan of, like, four randoms watching. Which, honestly, doesn't happen very often, so I'm happy about that. But, um, yeah, in general, that's my feeling on spec. Because, uh, <laughs> for the most part, most players on BGA, if they're, like, in the top X rated of a game, they don't get to have that opportunity to, like, play with no one watching anymore. Um, just because of the spectating function. Right, we're, we're three out of four on this table. I don't know if Crunchy's coming back or not, but that would be nice if we get a game... The arena queue's messed up. I mean, the simple game looks promising. Can't join? What the heck? Did a game start without me because I was trying to multi-queue and failed? <laughs> no. Either way, BGA, you need to fix your queuing system. It's super duper effed up. Uh, two arena games happening right now. Just two. And then turn-based ones. Oh, and hello, Killzor. Missed you. Hello. Um... Mighty, you're data mining, spectating, checking if pet lover. Oh, pet lover, where are you at, pet lover? Pet lover better than carpenter's parlor confirmed. Hey Gray, just play your games over twenty gate twenty days. Try to spectate then. Fair. 
I've been thinking of opening up some more turn-based games for myself. Um... Just because some of the lines to calculate are just, you know, getting all the time in the world to calculate them is better. Hey, Schmog, what's up? Yeah, we have uh, some anonymous person uh, pulling stats somehow. They posted this link on the uh, usually dead Agricola subreddit. <laughs> and I'm enough of a degen to, like, be aware of what's happening over there, even if I'm usually not commenting. Um, and yeah, there, there are some issues with this, uh, set of data, along with the, the biases that the community, uh, I'm, I'm speculating on what biases the community might have, but there is still some interesting stuff here, generally. Guest room seems too low, yeah. But I think that's probably an artifact of a lot of people who are seeing Acquirer also in guest room for the first time, not really knowing how to use them best. Because also, Acquirer, uh, I noticed earlier when I opened this, is like somewhere way down here. And it shouldn't be. archways down here. Yeah, like, Acquire is not the 350 second best card. Can we agree on that much? <laughs> Do they specify it's four player only? I believe it's four player only. This top group is no additional spaces, and then there's an additional space one. God, there are a lot of cards now. So they did split between uh, AAS and no AAS, but uh, nothing beyond that. There's no ELO difference. There's no ban versus no ban difference. How can two clay for four points and 13 food be that low, Kappa? Yes, exactly. Freshman is incredibly low. I don't know why I'm not control Fing. I definitely should control F. I wouldn't call this incredibly low, but it's low. There's just a lot of really strong stuff now. In draft 10 world. Hoping even two food? Yes, definitely hoping even two food. Uh, clay supports. Sorry. Uh, clay supports is fine in the top group. I wonder how they scraped it. Yo, Thom, thanks so much for the prime in the three months. Thanks for the support, Thom. Um, yeah, I also wonder how they scraped it because I don't think they're doing it the same way that I'm doing it, and I have like the permission to do it. And, uh, therefore I know some tricks of the trade. And those tricks of the trade don't seem easy to replicate. So yes, it is confusing to me too. Play support's very good in the node, or in the additional spaces. If that wasn't obvious. Hey kid, well, they are literally just on this paste bin. Linked to from the Agricola subreddit. Yeah, Clay Supports is, uh, well, the list starts at 25, so this is 47th on normal 4-player. But, again, there's no ELO um, floor set on these stats. There's no uh, ban versus no ban. There's no draft number control. Basically, no one uses that subreddit, but, you know, some of us degenerates are still subscribed to it anyway. Rogue BGA dev? 
doubt. I mean, I guess, but that seems like a really bad idea for a BGA dev to try and do that. Like, that's... Like, doing it without approval, I feel like it breaks a fair amount of rules and probably laws. <laughs> like, it's, the site rules are one thing to worry about, but, like, international data privacy laws? <laughs> that, that doesn't seem like a good thing to, to break the rules of. <laughs> like, it seems like a very risky thing to do. And, and I will say that, if you don't have, like, a formalized agreement to, to get BGA stats, you probably shouldn't try. <laughs> you really probably shouldn't try. Kung Bing, you tried posting on the subreddit to find some IRL games. Well, sorry that didn't work. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would generally suggest... Uh, I mean, I don't blame you for reaching out there, but I also wouldn't ex dare to expect anything there either. All right, we'll go back to the multi queue. Um, idle speculation we don't want to go into. I mean, the thing is for me, I, I'm my speculation is that I have no earthly idea of who could even think about doing that. Uh, hey, Greg Chick, is that power calculation correct using the number of times was dealt instead of... Uh, yes, I think it is. So the fun thing about power is that there are multiple ways you can arrive at the same number, um, There, which in some sense there's like multiple definitions of power that equal the same thing mathematically. And I think they're, uh, they might be using a different one than I'm doing, or the same one. I don't even care, honestly. Um, I don't think you can get a list of cards with these, this set of numbers that looks so reasonable without doing it correctly. There, There's no, like, alarm bells going off about how they might have calculated, like, the math itself being wrong. Mud patch high? Yes, mud patch is high. But the card is free. And it is a free pig and sometimes free capacity. So we should maybe appreciate mud patch a little more. Tea house kind of high. Clay pit owner pretty high. Like, what's funny about this list is that even three power is still quite good. There are some quite good cards at this level. Arena dead? Maybe. Arena killed itself by being a terrible format. This is just feed pellets that high part two, yes! Gray is correct. One day there will be a card that gives a free cow, and nobody will appreciate it. <laughs> nobody will appreciate it. Turns out free animals on minor improvement, on free minor improvement is good. Especially with a side ability. So yeah, if, uh, I guess going back to the arena comment, if you are a guru, please convince the other gurus to change the format. Please, 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 please. Show me decline. There's the decline. The decline is real. Five, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 days in. I'm 
comparing to previous seasons now to see where the drop off is happening. Is there a drop off around here? No. Last season there was no drop off around here, and this is like the alpha. Screw the arena queue. We're gonna hope this game fires. Yeah, draft 8 would be great. I would be happy to try draft 7. And I would be, like, vaguely okay with draft 9. You might need to quit your job to become a guru. Yeah, I feel that way too. And I don't, like, even have a full-time job. <laughs> Bean counter higher than pellet press? Yeah, Reed is just so critical in this format, I think. I guess, like, there was a decline this season, but we'll see over the next few days if the arena games continue to decline, but there definitely seems to be a decline right now. Oh boy, Sivir trying to fill out this table. Here we go. Draft 8. We get hit with the uh, very lame Ock pack. We're fourth seat behind Sivir. Stall Holder is 18th worst. Well, now there's Beer Stall, which dominates Stall Holder. I did notice some disrespect for Beer Stall, too. All right, well, we don't like this position. Fourth seat behind Sivir. We're also against Three Wishes and Premise Law, both in the 200s. And we don't have an exciting Oct to pick from. Hide Farmer is probably what I'm going with. I am a fan of surprise wood saws. I have fallen off on thinking large pottery is potentially, well, or is like more generically amazing. The pottery gets bought too often, at least in draft 10. Maybe it's more reasonable here. Um, but I don't see any clay injection yet. Not that I need to see it, but we'll just take the mini pasture. Um, I might get wood saw back, but not going to expect the others. I do like the idea of having a wood saw, uh, from seat four. Iron oven. And kettle. And bread paddle. Seeing three good grain converters means that grain itself will be a lot more valuable this draft. That said, we haven't seen any grain. Here's the clay source for uh, potential large pottery desires. These miners kind of good. Three grain converters, mantelpiece, loppers, and straw hat are both fine. Fourth seat makes me more hesitant to try small scale. Small scale straw hat seems pretty reasonable if I wasn't seat four, or definitely more if I was seat one or two. I, am I really picking dentist here? God, I think I'm picking dentist. Sower and Tinsmith Master are both enticing.
Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. 50 seconds. Uh, big Grimace and Pick Dentist. Uh, and then Fourth Seat Straw Hat. Sure. That sounds risky. Pet Lover? Finally a top tier awk. Oh, God. This game sometimes, man. Frickin' Agricola. There, I mean, I need the grain. <laughs> also, I need wood. Wild green seems doable. I don't really want chicken coop here. I think I just pick wild greens by default. Rustic, Master Bricklayer, Rustic Resource Recycler is funny. Passing Roof Baluster is sad, but this was just a really good pack. Yeah, exactly, Bland. My Ox are like the cast of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What? <laughs> Uh, thanks to my streams and videos, you're not getting fourth every game. Glad it is helping, Gagnetto. <laughs> now we want to find Woodfield, Cherry Orchard, Rock Garden, or a Veg Source. Uh, or we could find none of those. Yep, the good Oc Packs 3 4. Totally fair. Agricola is the best. And the fairest. Uh huh. Is Little Stick Knitter Pet Lover a combo? With Woodsaw. Pastor is a combo with Woodsaw, but you can't get me to pick Pastor here. You really cannot get me to pick Pastor here. If I already had Freemason in hand, we could talk about it. But I don't think I saw Reno Helpers either. Though there was that Housebook Master, but I don't need to like play Housebook Master this game. There was a Mantelpiece too. The big thing is that there's no Reno Helper, and I don't believe in just like... Uh If I'm setting up a wood saw situation All right, how much do I want animal catcher to? I have this hide farmer. I am probably on a hearth game. Passing Little Stick would make Woodsaw better. Am I really taking Animal Catcher here? No, Little Stick can just destroy worlds in the right situation. Woodsaw did not come back. Is Trellises useful with Mini Pasture in hand? Maybe. Forest Guardian says you get two wood. <laughs> I don't think I'm playing the other things. This is Trellis or Garden Hoe. The fact that I'm considering those two and might play them, like, isn't that fun? Aren't we glad that we're not playing Draft 10 where we get to always ignore these? We love fourth seat, we do. Hey, Sid, dentist type? <laughs> Maybe it's a nice hand for it. 
Uh, we might have graduated out of that with uh, <laughs> picks three and four. Small scale came back. Sower I'm not excited about, but I, I did pass the blueprint. I don't think I care. I'll take small scale just in case I get to play it round one, but I don't see any reason to do anything else here. Um, misanthropy is tempting. Mantelpiece came back a bit surprisingly. Lopper is pretty playable with Mini Pasture. And uh, Hide Farmer. That's probably good enough. Nope, that's not what I pick. That's what I pick. Resource Recycler got taken. I can't really imagine playing Rustic here. I don't know, these like don't matter. Okay, let's see what happens. We want to get small scale or reed stone, but of course we're going to get three wood. Three wood's okay though. A little stick makes that okay. <laughs> Gotta think Sivir has some really strong stuff though. <laughs> Got to see the good packs, second and third. Cord maker, sure. Also, all the grain converters got taken from that pack where I didn't take one. Kettle, bread paddle, and iron oven. I really took Straw Hat Loppers out of those cards. It's fine. I found a pet lover. I don't need need a grain source anymore. I might just abandon Straw Hat. Woodcutter took two wood. Prime's Law took two clay, Savior's so gonna day labor. Which means I am starting with wild greens. Because why would I do anything else? The annoying part about Little Stick and or Pet Lover here. Could just plow, no. Um, sheep flips. Okay, so we can pet lover immediately, which is really good tempo. Or we could take reed stone and whatever other action and be pretty happy with that. If I get to reed, then we'll run straw hat. But I think room part priority is probably the smarter option. I don't know, maybe it was wrong to not play Pet Lover here, but I feel like leaning into Little Stick can't really be bad. Like, one of the bad things that happens when you go hard for Little Stick is Grow Flips 5 and you don't need Little Stick. And that's really fine. So... 
And I think my hand is happy enough with early grow. We get a sewing master from Prem's Law. You don't see that played too often. And I am getting two read back. Uh, animal activist, okay. It's a little surprising to get two read back. Not the most surprising. I thought uh, Three Wishes would, was going to take it with Woodcutter. But, uh, yeah, this works for me. We'll see what options I get to open next round. I'll probably lead Plow. But I think I have a good amount of options here. Hi, Rubenstock. So now it's basically only four clay that could possibly tempt me away from start plow in some order. Going third next round, I think opening plow is probably the better option. From his law, starting with rolling pin, Sivir's just gonna get the world. A little stick knitter and sewing master should combo. Yes. Good one, Trey. Oh! Reedstone there. I thought it was, uh, gonna be something else. I guess I'm happy enough to see Premise Law take uh, Reedstone. Save your on four clay. So I can plow and make it obvious that I won't start with major minor not flipping yet. Or I could start and make it very obvious that I want plow and at worst get a food. That's probably better. Three wood and both ox bases available. So if I don't get plow, at worst I can play expensive ox or take two wood, which isn't amazing, but... Um, yeah, because I don't expect to get three wood back. Like, these next three moves being Ock, Ock, Plow would be surprising. I would take it, though. That would be okay. Uh, and then I'd probably go three wood, then first move little stick next round. Anyway, I think I'm okay here. I should be able to get Plow. We have an early sample stable. That is a first pick sample stable... Um, okay, so we are vaguely afraid of stable trees. I didn't pass stable cleaner. There was minor stable, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't remember enough other stuff. Food is close to better than a plow. Agree, it's not far off, but the, I think the plow comes with fun uh, tactical last move. Four stables. I think I awk the dentist and go four wood build. Also, three clay got taken. 
by Prem's Law to build the hearth and still, uh... Still activate rolling pin. Sorry for taking forever to think of that thought. Overwhelming power now in play, yes. Fear the dentist. I am kind of worried about uh, whatever this sample stable might be doing. Can I elaborate on the dentist? It feeds me. For now. And I wanted to build first. <laughs> it doesn't feed me much longer than now, and I guess this line doesn't allow me to play Little Stick. <laughs> when I say feeds me for now, that implies I know it's not a feeding engine. Come on. Yes, making wooden teeth. <laughs> this is medieval European dentistry or something like that. Uh, Three Wishes has a chance to nab the sheep here. And just having the stables to run sample stable, uh, I'm not sure how much I like that. But it does look like that's what they're doing. I believe it does feed me for now. No cookery from either of these two, with the stables being threatened. Uh, no. Red is... Red is uh, activating sample stable maker. That's that's about it. That's about all I've got on the read there. <sighs> this is a stage one iron oven. <laughs> uh, iron oven wood food stone cost. <laughs> That's fun. Fun little emissary there for sure. Though, to make it really fun, they need to trade stone for stone. The correct word is need. Um, let's see, Sivir gets to Ock here, potentially, or take food, or start for something. Or just casually build the hearth, that makes a lot of sense too. Or a fireplace. It all works! Sivir has options. Unsurprisingly. I do stay start. And that is pretty good news. Um, it means I get the five food. Wow, iron oven? No kidding.
Ground is Reno. There was a Lutonist. I'm holding Trout Pool. There's probably other small reasons to take one of these two, but I'm not going to think about it too deeply here. If Xavier wants to build start, I'll let him, but... I think I'm okay either way here. Prem's Law clearly wants an oven. Oh, bro. Grumble, grumble, grumble. It's not even clay supports. I mean, I guess I can't stable block or anything like that, so... Uh... So if you're just trying to get even more of an advantage on this. Um, well, I guess I'm not hurt too much by playing Little Stick here. Um, I assume, actually, this makes Sivir take the sheep. because I will be okay with sweeping them. This is Renault Mantelpiece? It's not Renault Mantelpiece. Okay. I don't really know what they're doing. Oh, so if you're not taking sheep. I wonder if Sivir is actually taking sheep next round. Very weird growth cue here. Yeah, I didn't see the brushwood coming either. Hi, Alex. Okay, Sivir is going to um, first action sheep here. And that does mean I get uh, four wood or six food, or six clay. Savior gets the world. Yeah, Savior has a good seat. <laughs> Happens sometimes. But uh, I think the way to counter this is to start. Uh, and hope I get three wood, which is, like, never happening. I have to plow also. That's fine. Yeah, I think I force a normal growth queue here. Um, yeah, so there's going to be four actions taken before I get a real move, because I am going to plow. Um, I might be playing Forest Guardian, with the reasoning that the two wood pays for a lop on the mini pasture, and a dentist.
Gray continues to be sad about stuff that I don't fully understand. Gray, you should stream. So that people can actually understand your thoughts. The flip is sad, yes. Growth would have been a lot better. Uh, six food is good. I think this is actually Forest Guardian. Down to three food. Mini Pasture Loppers is neutral. Dentist goes to two and pays. Yeah, well, I guess uh, I'll plow first because I might not get Cheapak. But I think three wishes is gonna room two stables. You're so sad about this dentist. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get a dentist down in the first two harvests. I almost forgot the plow. Forest Guardian 2 would move. It worked out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Mini Pasture at least will get past to Prem's Law. I think Mini Pasture comes back. Mini Pasture coming back would be really good. We also have, like, first grow straw hat out of the four seat. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Of course, Prem's Law could decide to do whatever the heck they want. So Sigur might still grow third. But this is the best compensation I can see right now, and it does come with playing out some miners that I wanted to play. So, I think it could be worse. Second action here uh, doesn't have to be seven food. It's probably seven food. But if I can get, uh, well, three read, I'd definitely still be happy with. So if you're saying the uh, <clears throat> mini faster loppers is cute, I agree. It is very cute. How do we feel about the interface showing 5 out of 15 instead of 4 out of 14? Uh, I think it's just that. It's a good enough substitute for what we'd prefer. We would prefer the 4 out of 14, but 5 out of 15 is okay. Savior with a reno here. Probably to hearth. Oh, to sheep rug. Well, that explains a lot. Uh, okay. Uh... 
I don't really see how I win this game without getting three read and two big clay stacks. Um, and I also see no path to that actually happening. So I think I'm just taking seven food. Well, maybe I let the food roll. All right, let's uh, let's get eight food next round. Maybe I should have drafted a craft teacher and then found blueprint in pack three or whatever. That would have been a good idea. Why didn't I do that? Why do we have to build the next room in clay? Because I have a dentist and no wood source besides growing first. I would like to get at least three wood on the dentist. Just like out of principle. The game is Omega over if Sibir gets four read. Yeah, that's that's what I was really seeing as the reason to take three read here. Cause if even yeah, because Sibir grows and then Um Prima's Law probably doesn't take three read, but three wishes might. Uh, but if Three Wishes doesn't take three read, Prema's Law builds, Savior grows, next round starts build X, or grow X, and Prema's Law isn't going to take four read either. Yeah. I mean, I think the game is probably Omega over anyway. I would expect Savior to have a fair amount of sauce that I haven't seen. Um, Animal Activist Sheep Rug I didn't see, but like that's... Yeah, there are saucier things than that. Um, I'm gonna... Ugh, you didn't take build? I guess that upgrades both of your actions. Okay. Fair move by Prema's Law. Savior has bread paddle, therefore Prema's Law has cuddle. There are definitely a lot of worlds where I don't get eight food. I would love to take eight food, but yeah, not really looking like it's happening. Um, Three Wishes doesn't have to grow first. Prema's Law doesn't have to build first. Sourdough is a really nice first minor pick. Then get that Iron Oven 4th blueprint coming in. Very nice with Emissary. Though they would have to pay a grain as a stone to build joinery right now. And that doesn't feel very good for them, I would think. Alright, so my first move, probably not 4 wood. I mean, probably not 3 stone. Uh, which means... Three wood or eight food. And it's probably not eight food. At least I'm okay enough with whichever flip this is if I get eight food. This is the flip that's better if I don't get eight food. Sewing this stage would be really helpful for, uh, food. <laughs> this is just a tough position, though. God, that sheep rug is deadly. Uh... 
Uh, I guess three wishes should take four clay here, because that's actually three clay and a stone. Indeed, Sid. Oh, and I passed them large pottery. How is this not snap four clay? If you have large pottery. Hey, Ronnie, this is a draft eight game. And it actually feels like one. Like the, uh, my position doesn't feel very good, but I do very much appreciate the tenseness of this game. They're plowing. Of all the things they could be doing on this board, they're plowing before growing. I should maybe not expect to get so next round. Ah, uh, thanks, random. Uh, Shemeshwa. Is that close? Oh my god, I got eight food. Bless! Sourdough, nice. Good timing. With uh, no room build there. It's looking like a double build. Not sure how good of an idea. Oh, it's a start for double build? Yeah, Woodsaw does make an appearance. So that first move is actually going to be wood. For Shemeshwa. And that might have gotten worse. Sivir takes pottery. Uh, Sivir having large pottery would be very sad. Uh, well, I wanted three wood. This seems like a fine time to take it. Pet lover next is okay. Not great. So I guess even if three wishes took four clay, they would have lost out on pottery if they activated sourdough, which seemed likely for them. Mini pasture, yes. Throw that thing around. Throw that thing around. Oh, you know, maybe it's so bake first action, not wood. Yeah, clay. Okay, yeah, Sivir has large pottery. Woodsaw works at any time if you have the least family members, you can have a build rooms action. So this is a legit start build use case, but you have to be down on family members. Um, it actually looks like they're going to so bake first move. I don't think Woodsaw was actually good here, though, because they could have just, like, done the build rooms action and gotten two rooms instead of one. Or they could have done the so bake and then started Woodsaw, but... Maybe there were reasons this was done. Sivir is fed by playing large pottery later and eating a sheep. Six food shows up. Um... I didn't really want to take three wood and build a wood room. 
but the clay room alternative is not happening dot com Are we going to get Sobake or something else? Yo, Brandon, thanks so much for the Prime in the 34 months. Thanks so much, Brandon. Hope you're doing well. Weird that Teal didn't take small scale. Agree. There was also a Pastor which didn't hit the table. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's, yeah, kind of weird so far. Three stone being spent on iron oven, another one being spent on twibble, the early pottery buy, the well is still available. Um, there is a line of build master bricklayer well. Is this bread paddle? No, Sivir has bread paddle, what are you doing? Why aren't you sewing here? Why are you growing first? What's your miner that you want to do second action with? No, that's not it. You, no, that that's not it. This says when fishing is occupied, not unoccupied. Um, I don't need to first action build. which looks a lot like six clay. Major Todd, thanks for the follow. Uh, that was a crazy first move, Grow. <laughs> it's a lot to ask. Fair. The wife. Unexpected wife. Not the most efficient, but it works. Severe so exchanging resources. Sounds like an Ock. Or start mini pasture. No, they don't have mini pasture yet. Uh, it's an Ock. Sheep provider. Sivir takes four food next move. Okay, uh, I should think about my line. I have options. I might be able to go four sheep, or three sheep hearth. Which is not what I was really planning on doing, but I'm not going to get build sheep. Um, three wishes probably takes sheep if I don't. 
the best action on the board. We are pivoting a bit, but the next room is probably mine anyway. And I might be able to go pet lover build sheep. And finally start using the best card in my draft. Well, actually, I don't need to grow on sheep at all. Large pottery to feed. Okay. Sure. Growing on sheep is probably my better option, though. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm... Uh... Allowing anyone? Well, three wishes could. They are fencing. I'm okay with that. I'm still hoping Mini Pasture comes around one more time. Three loppers with ideas on fencing small anyway. I will dentist as opposed to saving for Garden Ho. Sorry, Garden Ho enjoyers. My food is now quite good. I probably stopped dentisting here. I might do one more, but I doubt it from here. I mean, getting the eight food in round eight was really amazing. That helped so much. I mean, I think I'm dead otherwise. Um, and I mean, I am on the only potential winning line really from round seven or whenever it was I took the three read. was to get three read and a big stack going fourth in round eight. But we got there somehow. And the stone being used on pottery, large pottery, iron oven, twibble means I still have, like, master bricklayer use incoming somehow. Pray for 13. Yeah, well. Vincent will do whatever he wants, so. <laughs> I imagine Savior opens three wood or plow. You should give Pet Lover automatically to one of your girls because they take one sheaf all the time anyway. Yeah. That sounds like a, a solution. I'm gonna build my room down here because it's not gonna matter. Please pass around mini pasture. Shemishwa definitely needs more food to run mini pasture though. There is six food here for them, five there. So bake is like sow a grain and get seven food. I suppose cord maker wants to take reed bank anyway. We get a early sourdough activation. 
Could have done it before next move, so that's kind of surprising with two pigs available. Um, and capacity for like 12 animals right now. Plow reads so looks like aligned over there. Sivir on the pigs. I'm just building and growing. Save your accidentally clicked eat a pig. And does really want a fence soon in order to hold both breeding pairs, unless there's a capacity card over there, which could definitely be the case. <laughs> this does make it look a little like I have Knave. I don't really think I care. Animal Catcher, that is a fine reason to not take two pigs. Though, they do lose a food by... Wait, no, they... Why did they even risk not getting this space? They should have just iron or, uh, sourdough iron ovened a turn later. I think they just didn't realize. Well, if I get to take Veg next round, I will have the ability to sow, assuming this goes 3 read sow. Um, 3 read, eat a read, buy a Veg, so That looks really good. Severe short on wooden plows. 3 clay. That is a very interesting 3 clay. If you couldn't tell, I'm not amused. Okay, uh, so the rest of the game is, uh, yeah, hope I can get some crop sown here, but otherwise just, uh, wood. <laughs> Try to squeeze Master Bricklayer and maybe steal this well. Stone Oven, Joinery, Pottery, BMW, all available. But, yeah, the delay on the sew is frustrating for me. That three clay move is a choice that I do not understand. Like, it's a reno in a room. But I don't... I guess that has to be the only explanation. But I mean, if you wait for four clay, then you also maybe have extra rolling pin equity later. I don't know. Maybe they have too many other things they want to do and don't mind missing out on the three read for some reason. Like, I think someone else taking the three read is really bad for them. Because that's two read and a stone for three wishes, for example. Savior could build more rooms for example. There's... Whatever. Whatever. Maybe that mini pasture is not coming around. I'll open three wood next round, which uh, does look like it'll be available for both me and Sivir.
and yeah, I'm not at all expecting to get so big. Hello, Seth Stewart, welcome. Uh, Savior could open three stone, though. I could open three stone. Mmm, I could open three stone. Three wood's better. <laughs> if someone needs to take the well, they can take the well, but three wood is, uh, necessary. This game is wood type, and I knew that while building my fourth room, and did it anyway. Yo, Heroic Logic, thanks so much for the tier one and the 25 months. Oh my gosh, thanks so much, Heroic Logic. Three wishes will be fed as long as they hit up sourdough, and they can still take a normal move before activating it. Uh, so they will be able to triple breed. That's very good with Animal Catcher. Nice job by them. Um, it is a little paranoid on the day laborer move. Like, no one's taken that. It is a, a plow here. They got plow... They didn't buy a veggie on the cord maker, which is a little surprising. I wonder if they fish. <laughs> That'd be funny. I would find that funny. Uh, Save, so you're gonna fence 11 here and take the animal activist lead away from three wishes. Um, I could start, I could take three stone. I could play this master bricklayer, which looks pretty tempting. Given that I'm probably not sewing, and by probably I mean like 98%. Four clay. Can I get four clay here? Before three stone gets taken? No. I'm gonna actually play this Master Bricklayer. This late grow little stick is still gonna work out. I mean, I still feel like I have a chance this game. And, you know, that's not <laughs> the most exciting language for sure, but uh, it could have been a lot worse. And I definitely lied about three wishes being able to wait one more move before sourdough, because they definitely cannot. So I guess in that respect, day laboring first is fair enough if they knew they had to, yeah. They can count and I can't. That was a uh, second? Wait, no, it was a fourth pick, little stick. I mean, I, I think the likely answer is they just didn't know how good little stick is. Because I think the first two picks out of that pack were sample stable and either cord maker or brushwood? It could just be a classic uh, lower-rated player way overvaluing Brushwood. That happens a lot. <laughs> to be fair, I do think Brushwood is good in Draft 10. I'm way less convinced about Draft 8. Sewing all three. Okay, fair. Oh my god, I am getting four clay reno well. Possible reno well. Animal driver! Oh, that's good. Nice, Sivir. Sivir baking one to two here? Uh, to feed two large pottery clay. Yeah, okay. Whatever gets the job done, I guess. Well, this game is very animal-rich, it turns out. 
so I can go well. I can go four clay, try to get Reno, even though it probably gets taken. But I don't think this clay survives. So I'll just take the clay and uh, buy the well on some action space. Two wood does get taken, plus wood. Um, I was thinking going not first next round would be okay. In worlds where uh, I could just get four wood. And I don't get Reno. Start player still looks good, but not amazing because I don't have a veg. I don't really want a pet lover and not breed sheep. There's kettle. Okay, right. I did know they had kettle. I did forget for a while as well. Uh, so they really did want to wait for four clay instead of taking three. Um, they now don't have room parts. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff on this board, including possibly four stone next round. Four stone would be amazing. But the well just seems like good enough value here. Even though, yeah, it did come with this high probability of going last joinery. Fair enough. Okay, there are many animals. It was Lake Grow, and I think all of these factors make it a pretty food-heavy game. Well, and the cards played, specifically. So, uh, late fencing is probably okay. Late fencing, as long as it's not super ultra giga late. I suppose fencing 11 makes sense for both Wishes and Sivir if Mini Pasture comes around one more time. But I think I need to stop dreaming about Mini Pasture coming back one more time. The food is good enough here to where I don't need to dentist a wood to three eventual food. I already did that by playing the well. Um, obviously I have a lot of spaces to apply Hide Farmer to, and I'll need to, but that's fine. Resource-wise, I'm a clay short of both pottery and stone oven. Four stone reed stone gets me to reno stone oven, reno. And I have a Fern Siege, which might be playable on that second Reno. Potentially. Uh, I do need to get renovating here, because there will eventually be pressure on it. Good actions this round. We have the round 12 space. We have Plow. We have three wood. Uh, and four stone. I think I'll be content with one of those. Hopefully the stone, because round 12 is not realistic to hit. It is Urgent Wish. So that's uh, really good for Sivir. Yeah. I mean, if this goes Urgent, 3 wood, Plow, I think I'm probably just not winning. Uh, and honestly, I might not get second either. Because Three Wishes game looks more than fine hitting Urgent Wish here. I'm going to plow there. Reedstone. Wow. I need three wood. I would like four stone.
Kind of an interesting Reedstone play. I don't immediately know what that means. Uh, besides probably a improvement that I don't know about. Bad flips, fourth seat behind the highest rated player. It happens. I think I've played a respectable game here. And that's all I can really hope to accomplish sometimes. I do want four more wood for eight fences and loppers. So, hoping no one takes Grove and it grows to four, but of course, Woodcutter behind me just takes it right now. Fair enough. Wonder if this is going to be start mini pasture. <laughs> I continue to hope. Pause. Yay! No telling whether Sivir actually <laughs> passes it to me or not. Sivir on veg, that's a wise move. I do get four stone back. can't really complain about that. I have a very strong reno that no one can take right now. But yeah, my fence timing is sad. I think I just need to take three wood and fence no lop. Next round with high priority. I will be taking Stone Oven ahead of Pottery here. Not really wanting to compete on the high-ranked player in front of me that has uh, large Pottery. How is Civ plowing? Sometimes you don't plow. Especially in late grow games, it can be more efficient to not try to do everything. What is my other move here? It's time for my non reno move, but I don't know what it is. It might just be play hide farmer. I I don't see anything else that I really want to do here. I'd much rather get reedstone than any other combination of uh, reed and stone move separately. Yeah. And I mean, there's like a seven food spot. I should do more math on my food, but I'm not convinced I need that. I should check. Um, 7, 13, 15. I mean, like, with a pet lover and a sow, I'm fed. 
Uh, maybe a little more than that with uh, Hide Farmer possibly going up to five here, but... I did think a bit about fencing five, but I don't think it's efficient enough. The animal stacks are just huge, and the table doesn't have a ton of reasons to police them. Like, the rest of the table's also pretty well fed. So I think just it's way more efficient to greed bigger animal stacks here at the end. Oh, and I'm breeding two food. Possibly six if I end on one sheep. Yeah, I don't need to take food. Yeah, traveling so big means that the animal stacks aren't really better. They're not better food-wise. Uh, I might get urgent here. If I get it, I'm taking it. Am I? Yeah. Sivir probably wants a food move, but four sheep and eight food are the same. Three pigs is worse than both of those. Sivir, the best. Oh. There's Sivir's plow. Okay, we would like Reedstone. We're probably not getting it, if I had to guess. Mmm, Woodsaw. Definitely should not have used it right now. Definitely should have done it as a surprise move, unless they, yeah, really want to communicate for an extra reason that they're growing with their next move. Missed that line. Okay, I don't get Reedstone, but I am getting three wood, which is probably better. Getting defense here is, uh, lucky. Let's call it. Sivir Renos with a miner and a field, and then opens Plowso. Three Wishes using Sourdough. Very nice Sourdough for them this game. It has, like, cost them some efficiency, but not nearly enough to not be worth it. They've gotten three or four Sourdoughs into the Iron Oven. Well, I guess if Sivir Renos, I can read Stone Food first action next round. Oh, and a plow before Reno here. Reno mini pasture, I think is what Sivir is going to be up to. Wait. That's actually going to be next round, because Sivir has food issues. Sivir is taking a big food stack. Um, I have half a mind to... run loppers and mini pasture here. Probably a little too risky.
Yeah, I have other stuff I can do. It's not gonna let me, right? Why is it letting me? Because this two food can buy a wood? Yeah. I don't know what card does that, but I guess the flexibility is just better off existing when the card effects get this crazy. I need a veggie. I want pigs and cows. There's a stone move for three wishes, which does kind of lock me out, out of Reno. And by kind of, I mean most likely the three stone now. Not very useful. Oh, so you're renovating here. Maybe I'm not locked out of Reno. Three Wishes needs a read in order to reno twice. Mini Pasture now happening. Saber needs to eat a bunch of stuff. Has two clay to eat. Sheep and a pig, I guess. Well, now I can read stone. First action. Though, maybe that's not best. Yeah, okay, I think Sivir's seeing that there's a food issue. I mean, I think Sivir should take eight food, probably. Or grow, sure. Yeah, that too. Leave renovating for later. You're only sowing two things. The sheep does come with a sheep provider grain, which would be a third thing, but that is not happening. This action's just like too good to not take here. Yeah, even if three wishes takes read. I can still read stone because of turn order next round. Well, no, not anymore because Sivir didn't renovate. Not anymore, Sivir didn't renovate. What is this? Is this the pottery? That would be kind of wild. Like, three read joinery, that makes sense. Also, Sivir might just be normal fen- no. Reno Miner makes way too much sense when you have Fern Seeds. Three Wishes getting the veggie out of the way, I appreciate that. Uh, but there's still two of us that don't have a veggie. Traveling gonna be up to nine. Turns out I took the right bottom feeding in round five. <laughs> Cause we, uh... <laughs> We uh, nerfed the mill wheel. Yep. Yep. We definitely needed to nerf the mill wheel. Hide farmer's gonna be really good here. Um, I'm not gonna let myself think I have winning chances here, but I probably do. I just need to play a solid end game, which might just include counting points, but whatever. A Reno here, yeah. 
exactly a spade. This feels a lot more like the game I know and love. And I'm uh, a little fortunate to get five actions here in round 14. I did not need to be getting that last urgent. Ten food, nine food on this board. I'm calling it that because uh, no one needs sheep here. So I guess it could be two points, two food or one and six or something like that. Um, so yeah, still, well, I can actually take Reedstone now because Three Wishes doesn't have Reed. The question is, do I want to? I think I do. Because it opens up clay and reed as two-point moves. I guess reed is probably a... No, it's a two-point move. Eh, the food is maybe more. If I eat a basket. Um, two cows is nice. No chance I can win Animal Activist here. I need 15 food. I have three, six, eight, 12, no, 14. I mean, if I eat one sheep, two pigs, I have 14 food. So food is one point. Reedstone food. Uh, we get the big kettle option. That's fun. I've seen a lot of people using the big kettle option. It's not particularly efficient. But I guess if you have that much green, you don't need to be efficient. Veg might last a while because Cordmaker is probably proccing. I might uh, try to wait out the Veg move in terms of sequencing. There is still pressure on Urgent Wish between these two. Savior doesn't have a big clay move. Obvious. There might be a, a clay move in there somewhere I don't know about, but... I think I'm opening Reedstone here. It's a two moves for four points, which could become a three moves for six points sequence. And yes, I want two cows, I want veg, but I don't know how much better I can really do here in my endgame. Um, and I think with the food math, Reedstone might just be... A point or it might be two moves for five points for the reno that is um, and then if I if I'm the one getting four read which is not a guarantee three wishes could definitely take the read to build BMW and get me and Savior to reno on our next moves that would be reasonable but they do go urgent wish Okay, things are starting to break the right way. Um, 
check that, I'm probably not getting Reno Major. <laughs> check that, I'm probably not getting Reno Major. But this could still be two moves for five points. Just taking Ren Fence. Um, yeah. As a pure Reno action. I can't actually mini pasture because I only have two fence pieces remaining. I did know that going in. And it's okay. Plow is only one point, so I'm definitely on the cows here. Master Bricklayer only ends up being two stone, that's pretty sad, and I probably could have seen that coming. Master Bricklayer freaking never works, dude. <laughs> Why did I even try? Wasn't it four stone? Oh, it totally was. Never mind. I'm smart. <laughs> My reputation is still intact. Yeah, thanks, Rainier and Ronnie. <laughs> Learn to count, Lumen. Um, okay. I won't have space to eat a cow to get extra hide farmer value, but I think that's fine. I'm not three rooms. That is very true. Can I get veg here? Going for a read major seems unlikely. It's very easy for someone to take major, especially Sivir who has four miners in hand. Uh, three, large pottery was one of them. Got past the mini pasture, passed it out. So I think there's three miners in Xavier's hand. Easily could play one of them to plow. Very easily. Uh, Veg, Reno, what is my other move? I'm not getting so because Three Wishes is taking it. Uh, it's not clear I have a good last move here actually. Meeting place is ridiculous when Major Minor is open. Unless this is a specific hoping to get Major later situation, which I guess it has to be. Overhaul? Whoa. That's not coming to me. <laughs> I don't think. And if it is, it won't be playable. Um... And I wouldn't want to overhaul my tight fences anyway. Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, oh, yeah, if I don't get veg, what am I doing? Civ holding newly plowed field? That would be impressive. Maybe that doesn't work. Oh! I don't know off the top of my head. No, after you play a minor. I think it would work. That would be really fun. Um, okay, it's gonna be an Ock instead of Overhaul. No, JK. It's gonna be Normal Fence. Into Overhaul, that makes more sense. 
No, save a wood! Now they can't play overhaul. On the other hand, they can take the five sheep. Savior might take the sheep here. Now it takes forest. A stable is three points. For a sieve. Um, okay. Still looking for that point, and I don't see it. I mean, I'm gonna take a veg, and three wishes is gonna take so. Sowing one grain is nothing besides a block, and I don't think I need to block them. I, yeah, I don't think I have a last move. Because I'm not going to gamble for the BMW, which is very speculative two moves for three points. I'm going to take my for sure one move for two, and don't know what else. Take a food move if Savior gets greedy, which I doubt. Well, this is somehow not a snap, so... The only reason I care is because so is my last remaining one point move. <laughs> um, okay. Oh my god. Savior can sew if this is cheap. But if Savior sows, I retaliate with the food, I think. It's possible food is... No, there's a six food space. Savior Major. I have to renovate now. I have to renovate now. That's what the read does. I figured it out. I almost screwed up. I almost did a big oopsie. <laughs> I'm here to create drama for everyone. Newly plowed stable, racing stable manager check. Anyone else see the racing stables? Two points is, or sorry, uh, <laughs> Two points so for Sivir is available. Uh, the food, well, eight food is two points for Sivir, I think. Something like that. So food and so seem equivalent over there. So Sivir has 47 or 48. I have 45 after hide, so I, I don't think I have this team, but I got kind of close. 
And for what I had to go through, I'm going to take that. Yeah, I, I think I can absolutely live with myself if I end up a couple points behind Sivir here. Alright, what's this Ock? Oh, Tinsmith Master, maybe? Playing it earlier would have been huge. Yeah, it is Tinsmith Master. Uh, too bad they didn't play that earlier. More grain in the ground for big uh, kettle would have been fun. That would have been really fun for them. Also, can I get any credit for, like, sussing out a tinsmith master out of all that? That's pretty cool, right? Oh, wait, is this organic farmer? Food distributor. Also known as not organic farmer. Let's eat food and a grain, at least. That is a, uh, all right, so it's a, a 10 food move. Minus one, it's just a nine food, no, it's an eight food move. I'm going to make it a 9 food move. Math is hard. How did I get so here, by the way? That's kind of wild. Really glad I made time to plow these two fields. <laughs> Doesn't look like I would have done it at any other time. All right, so I get to 46. Wait a sec, what civ you're at? Breeding three points. Sivir's breeding three points. Animal driver. <laughs> so I'm only losing to Sivir by one. Dang. I guess if it was closer, Sivir would have sown instead of uh, food distributor. Oh well. I definitely took uh, pretty good lines, I think, to, uh, to escape that sheep rug. Once sheep rug came down, I think I played very good. Yeah, Hide Farmer at the end of 12 worked out fine. I guess throwing it down early caused a little awk pressure at the end because it kind of hints that I want to play multiple late ox. Anyway. Yeah, 46 here. Loppers didn't quite get there. It would have got there if uh, I didn't build another wood room, but the resources didn't go that way. Yeah, when I eat 
a sheep and a pig, I'll end up with two extra food. And I have a raw grain as well. Well, nicely done by Sivir to, to pull it out. Yeah, thanks, Kung Ming. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> and an amazing minus two elo for that effort. Yep, that, that deserves minus 2 elo, alright. Minus 1.32. Minus... It, negative elo at all. Yep. Great system. I love that system. <laughs> I love when the supposed measurement of skill gives me minus points for actually... A very high skill game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it means the... That I have to just know internally that I, I played it well and can be satisfied with that result. Fourth seat tax, etc., etc. Thanks, Ace. I mean, yeah, the read situation was... A necessary big risk. I mean, if I don't get the, the food pile, it's over. But also, if I don't take the read, it is extra mega over. So, as Gray was saying. And... Yeah, like, the, the mid-game read stacks can be so important in determining who has extra rooms throughout the game. So, if you haven't seen that point enough in my games. Let me make that point one more time. Alright, uh, as I have in the stream title, I am out tomorrow, going on a very quick vacation. Uh, I am excited for it. Found very cheap plane tickets uh, partially across the country. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, and right now I said no stream on Thursday. I might still stream on Thursday, but I don't want to, like, promise anything. It'll depend on a lot of things, like, uh, how tired I am coming back on Wednesday night. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream and the game. Sivir and I, I think, both played pretty well there. Sivir are showing a nice animal driver, too. You don't see that too often. So I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out Thursday, but no promises. It might even happen, like, an hour early because reasons that I don't want to get into. Take care, everyone.